Welcome back to the Discovering Plant series. In this video we will be learning how plants get fertilized. In the previous video we discussed about pollination, which is the transfer of pollen from the anther of one flower to the stigma of the same flower, or another flower. Now let's discuss the next step which is fertilization. After pollination, each pollen grain that has landed on the stigma will develop a tiny tube called a pollen tube. The pollen tube will grow downwards through the style of the flower and into the ovary. The male reproductive cells from the pollen grain travel down the pollen tube and enter the ovule. In the ovule, it fuses with the egg. The fusion of the male reproductive cell with the egg to form a fertilized egg is called fertilization. After fertilization, the sepal, petals and stamen of the flower will wither and drop off. The ovary develops into fruit, while the ovules inside the ovary develop into seeds. The seed carry the fertilized egg. They can develop into young plants if the conditions are right. The fruit protects the seed until they are ready for release into the environment. When we talk about fruits, we think of those that are edible, fleshy, sweet and juicy. We think of fruits like mangoes and watermelons. However, in science, fruits are defined as the parts of plants that develop from the ovaries of flowers after fertilization. They can be edible or inedible. Fleshy or non fleshy, juicy or dry. So, by that definition, fruits and vegetables both are considered as fruits. Peanuts are edible, non fleshy, and dry fruits. Rubber fruits are inedible, non fleshy, and dry. In the comments, tell us the name of any edible, fleshy, and juicy fruits. This brings us to the end of the video. If you have any queries you can write to us at thestudypod01 at gmail.com.